Hello, Roboteers! Welcome to the Robotics Parlor! Beep boop boop! Today we're talking about how robots communicate as part of the Google Autofill game series, where I type in how do robots and Google fills in the rest. Robots communicate with each other very much like other devices that you're already familiar with communicate through wires or wirelessly. And many of the protocols they use are similar, such as wired LAN networks or Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. There are other specialized communications they can use, but the most important part of robotic communication is that they actually have built into their programs the ability to communicate and that they can speak the same language. There's different sorts of relationships between robots, and one that's common is called a master-slave relationship. This sounds a little weird, but really all it means is that one robot or computer will give commands and one will receive them, and the one who receives the commands cannot give commands back, but can communicate information back, like was it successful in executing the command. So for instance, a really simple example that you may already have is if you had any sort of like a car that you can control with your smartphone. Your smartphone in this case is the master and it sends commands to the little car and the car will not be able to send something back to your phone and like tell it to install a program or something like that. Another example would be um, my relationship with my cat. My cat will tell me whether she's hungry or wants to go outside or do something and I will either do it or um, I will tell her that it's unsuccessful. However, I cannot tell my cat to do anything because she won't listen to me. So one area where robotic communication has gone through a lot of development is in robotic swarms. So robotic swarms are based off of biological swarms. And the way biological swarms work is that they will lay down pheromones or somehow change their environment and that way they communicate information. Robots, on the other hand, don't quite have that option yet in our current technology, so they have to communicate wirelessly. But they do communicate similar information, like, here's where I am, here is where the shortest route is, and here's where our target object is. And then the nice part of a swarm is that this one robot only really needs to communicate to one other robot, and that robot starts off a chain of communication. So you don't need the robot to communicate to every single member of the swarm, but the information can kind of go through the swarm slowly from individual to individual. When it comes to robots communicating with one another, the less information that they can get in a dense package, the better. Because unlike humans, who if they mishear a word or something can still sort of figure out what's going on, a robot can't. So if the information is disrupted, they may not be able to extrapolate what needs to happen. Robots mostly communicate in machine languages and ones and zeros that can then be translated to specific commands. One type of language is called the common domain language, and it's used for robots of different types to communicate with one another. So an interesting area in robotics communication is robots that are different but can still communicate with one another, because then they can do much more diverse tasks than any single robot. So an example would be, let's say you have a cooking robot or a robot that just does really manual dexterous tasks but cannot move around in a room very well or navigate. Well, you can build a second robot that's very good at navigating and then have it be able to pick up objects and bring them to the cooking robot. And that way they can work together to make you a delicious sandwich. Now, this is a kind of a silly example, but in some instances, that might be very, very useful uh, if someone has, let's say, trouble with moving or in a someone who's really rich and wants robotic servants. Um, but also in industrial applications, if robots have the artificial intelligence and the ability to communicate, they can then make tasks, do tasks more autonomously and be able to accomplish goals without humans having to work in the environment as well. Thanks for joining me in the robotics parlor. I love to communicate with you about robots, so please leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. 
I'd also like to thank MN Drive for sponsoring this project. And I also have links of interesting stuff about this topic also in the description. So I hope you have a robotific day. Beep, boop, boop. I am a robot one zero 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 one one. I will destroy you zero zero one 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 zero zero zero.